What is going on, Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Today in this video, I want to go through and give my 53-man roster final predictions. So starting off with the guys on the NFI and non-report list, unfortunately, there is going to be two in this one. Jordan Travis, who is still not healthy yet, and Hassan Reddick. Until proven otherwise, I'm going to keep Hassan Reddick off this roster. That scares the life out of me. I hope this changes soon. And if it does change, then swap Hassan Reddick in for one of the edge rushers that we have listed here in just a little bit. But, all right, let's start off with the easy stuff, the quarterbacks. The Jets are only going to end up carrying two quarterbacks, and that is going to be Aaron Rodgers and Tyrod Taylor as the two guys. I don't think it's worth rostering Andrew Peasley uh, or Adrian Martinez. Um, I, I just think they're going to stick with two. You can call one of them up from the practice squad if need be. If, God for, forbid, there is an injury to Aaron Rodgers, then you could go out and see if you could pull – Colt McCoy out of retirement, get Trevor Simeon back on the line uh, to back up Tyrod Taylor. Like, there's other pivot points you can make at that point. Uh, running back, the Jets carry three. Brees Hall, Braylon Allen, Isaiah Davis are the three. Unfortunately, Izzy Abanacanda does not make the roster. I think the writing was on the wall for him after the Jets, one, went out and drafted two new running backs, but also... They are changing schemes from an outside zone rushing team to more of a gap power team. So it doesn't really fit that bill. So the Jets move on from him. At the wide receiver spot, this one was a little bit tougher for me. And I think there's a debate whether or not the Jets carry six or seven wide receivers. Five of them are absolute locks. Garrett Wilson, Mike Williams, Xavier Gibson, Malachi Corley, Alan Lazard. They are going to make the team those five for sure. There is debate after that, number one, whether you carry six or seven, and then number two, who those guys are. And I do think the Jets end up carrying seven here. I think they keep Irv Charles for special teams. Would I do it? I'm not the biggest Irv Charles fan as a gunner. I personally like what we've seen out of Brandon Eccles and Quantez Stiggers more. But do I think the Jets do it? Yes, I think the Jets keep Irv Charles. I also think they keep Jason Brownlee. I'm a Jason Brownlee guy, so maybe there's a little bias in there. Um, there's a little bit of debate who that last guy could be, but I think Brownlee's had a strong week of practice. He's been up and down so far in training camp in the preseason, but the Jets like him. I think there's upside for him to replace Alan Lazard after the season. I have the Jets carrying three tight ends, Tyler Conklin, Jeremy Ruckert, and Kenny Yeboah. Uh, if they were to carry a fourth, I think it would be Anthony Ferkser uh, due to his ability as both a fullback and tight end in his NFL career. But I do think the Jets try to get away with carrying three of those guys. No Zach Kuntz, unfortunately, just did not develop. It was a seventh round swing. Hasn't looked good in training camp or the preseason. No harm, no foul. The Jets get by with those three. Let's go to offensive line next. We'll start with the tackles. This one kind of feels like a gimme. Um, Smith, Moses, Fashionu, Carter Warren, Max Mitchell. You are very comfortable with your two starters in Tyron Smith, Morgan Moses. Olu Fashionu as your swing tackle is chef's kiss. Uh, Carter Warren and Max Mitchell for your depth beyond that, I think is more than okay. And then on the interior, Joe Tipman at center, Vera Tucker and Simpson as your starting guards. You keep Wes Schweitzer, who has the most experience out of everyone that they have in training camp at that position. And then I think Xavier Newman's looked good. He could play center and guard as well. Um, so I think those two are your primary backups on the interior. When you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth millions. Morgan and Morgan doesn't settle for low ball offers. They achieved significant verdicts in the past couple of months for victims involved in life-altering car crashes. It only takes a few short minutes to see if you have a case and the fee is absolutely free unless you win. Over 3 million people like you call them every single year in their time of need and they've recovered over $20 billion for their clients over the years. If you've ever gotten seriously injured, your case could be worth millions and you're only a few clicks away from potentially changing your life. It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan and Morgan at forthepeople.com slash Matt found in the description 
or by scanning the QR code on your screen from your phone's camera. You can contact Morgan and Morgan today. To the defensive side of the ball we go. Remember, no Hassan Reddick. So edge rusher, I have five, not six, but five. Jermaine Johnson, Will McDonald, Tack McKinley, Michael Clemens, and Braden McGregor will be the five at that point. Um, again, the, the locks to me, Johnson, McDonald, Clemens is a lock. They lo- The Jet staff loves, loves Michael Clemens. Tack McKinley, I think, has been stellar in camp. And McGregor as a UDFA, I think, um, has outshined Eric Watts, who was also highly regarded coming out as a UDFA. But I think McGregor's outplayed him. On the interior defensive line, I have the Jets keeping five. So 10 total on the D-line. Williams, Kinlaw, Fotu, Thomas are locks. And I have the Jets keeping Leonard Taylor. That's the only one that I think maybe they decide to keep six edges and only keep four interior guys. So 10 on the defensive line, uh, which is what I have total, but I have it split five and five. The Jets usually in years gone by go six and four, but I think they keep just five edges with the absence of Hassan Reddick. Add Reddick back into the fold, and then I think it's between uh, Taylor and potentially McGregor who who comes out, uh, who gets you know waved or whatnot. So um, those are my defensive linemen for now. Linebacker room, the Jets keep four linebackers. C.J. Mosley, Quincy Williams, Jamie and Sherwood. No debate there. A little bit of a debate who wins uh, linebacker four, but I think Zaire Barnes has showed out in training camp. He was a draft pick last year, uh, shown some nice signs of development. The Jets love Chaz Surratt. I just don't think you can justify keeping him as a fifth linebacker with where you have to go in some other directions on the roster. Okay, so maybe controversial, but I have the Jets keeping seven corners because I want to sneak in Brandon Cotterington onto the list for special teams. But Sauce Gardner, DJ Reed, uh, Michael Carter, Brandon Eccles, Quantes Stiggers, J- uh, Jack Bernard Converse. I think all six of those guys are, are locks. I think it's really just a debate whether they're going to keep six or seven corners. I have the seventh corner because honestly, Cotterington's been their best returner. I know Xavier Gibson uh, was the returner last year and it was his job to lose. That's what everyone was saying going into training camp, Robert Sala and the special team staff. But I think not just in the preseason games, but at camp, I think Cotterington's looked really explosive. So if he has another great game against the Giants this week, which is entirely possible, I think there's a chance he makes it. Again, that one might be my most out there kind of take for the 53, but let me know what you guys think in the comments on this one. Also, safety, the Jets carry four, Chuck Clark, Tony Adams, Ashton Davis, and Isaiah Oliver are the four. No Jalen Key, who is the Mr. Irrelevant pick. Um, I think he is a practice squad guy. I just don't see how the Jets carry five safeties. They have four that they are comfortable with. Uh, Bernard Converse has experience trying to switch to safety last year. Stiggers could play a little bit safety too, I would imagine. But I think the Jets are more than comfortable with the defensive back room carrying just four safeties. And then, of course, you can't forget the special teams guys, Greg Zerloin, Thomas Morstead, and Thomas Hennessy. And that's 53 guys. So the cuts, the notable cuts, I would say, uh, in this one, Izzy Abanacanda, Jalen Key, Eric Watts, Chaz Surratt. I, I Unfortunately, just I would like to keep all those guys, but you have to narrow it down to 53. And this was tough. This was not an easy decision, but let me know what you either agree with or disagree with with my 53-man roster. Who would you keep if it's different? If you agree, great. Let me know all down below in the comments. Once again, I'm Matt O'Leary, and I'll catch you next time.